so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's session in today's class we'll be talking about the pib news from 22nd to 23rd of may 2023 and i hope your preparations are going well these sessions are guys very very important these are you know uh, a must for the rbi gate b examination so you have to carefully attend all these classes and revise them through the pdfs all right so let's begin with the very first question uh one second yeah let's talk about the very first question which is about a center of excellence so a center of excellence on sustainable land management has been inaugurated at the indian council of forestry research and education so where is this indian council of forestry research and education located that is the question where this center of excellence on sustainable land management has been established right so remember guys it is located at dehradun which is of course in uttarakhand The Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education is located at Dehradun, which is in Uttarakhand, of course. And this Center of Excellence has been established. What is the objective? Right? Its name says its objective clear. I think uh, the objective with which this Center of Excellence has been established is to arrest the land degradation and improve soil quality of the land as a boost for sustainable development. Okay. and very important thing that you have to remember that the announcement for establishment of this center was done by the prime minister during 14th cop conference of parties of the united nation convention to combat desertification united nation convention to combat desertification ke 14th cop mein prime minister has announced this uh, prime minister announced the establishment of this particular center of excellence right Now talking about the overall objectives of this uh, center, so आपको ये सब word to word याद नहीं रखने हैं, just remember the key words. ठीक है, number one is to facilitate restoration of degraded uh, degraded land. So that is one key word. What the center of excellence will do? It will facilitate the restoration of degraded land. ठीक है, through technical support, capacity building and knowledge sharing. ये सब आपको याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है. It is given just for the understanding. To set land degradation neutrality targets. How we can uh, neutralize the land degradation? जो land degradation हो रहा है उसको हम कैसे neutralize कर सकते हैं? What is the meaning of neutralize here? So अगर कोई land degradation हो रहा है, अगर किसी land की deforestation हो रही है, तो हम afforestation भी करें उसके साथ साथ. So that the effect जो होगा वो neutralize हो जाएगा. All right? To promote good governance of land tenure and rights, that is the third keyword. And number four, to assess the impacts of land degradation on greenhouse. Impact of land degradation on greenhouse gas emissions and biodiversity loss. Okay, so these are the keywords through which you can understand the objective of this particular center of excellence. And not only this, this center of excellence by collaborating with the developing countries will achieve or you know will promote south south cooperation and also will contribute to the achievement of sustainable development goals that we have to achieve by the end of. 2030 all right so that is all about this news and the correct answer therefore guys is what dehradun which is in uttarakhand option c is the correct answer let's talk about question number 2 the third in person quad leader summit has been taken place uh, in has taken place in hiroshima in japan various initiatives were launched during the summit which of the following initiatives were launched uh, during the summit actually the question should be which of the following initiatives was not launched theek hai i'll make the changes in the pdf don't you worry which of the following initiatives was not launched during the summit so various initiatives have been uh, approved have been launched during the third in person quad leaders summit and of course i believe you all know that in quad countries there are us there is usa japan australia and our pyara bharat Australia and India and all the leaders, leaders of these countries participated in this Quad Leader Summit, the third edition, which took place in Hiroshima in Japan. Right now, which are these initiatives which have been launched? Number one, Clean Energy Supply Chain Initiative. Right, Clean Energy Supply Chain Initiative. So, as the name suggests, uh, under this, uh, under this initiative, what will happen? This initiative will facilitate research and development and support. the indo pacific's energy transition theek hai through establishing a robust energy supply chain right number 2 quad infrastructure fellowship program so as the name says infrastructure ki hum yahan pe baat karenge so this program will support 
the policy makers the policy designers to design build and manage sustainable and viable infrastructure in their country so that we can also focus on the sustainable development goals right initiative number 3 initiative number 3 is partnership for cable connectivity and resilience now this is not the cable tv wala cable this is the undersea cable we are talking about undersea cables now this will secure to uh, you know this will be done to secure and diversify the critical networks among these four nations in the indo pacific region right number 4 is quad investors network which has been launched as a private sector led platform to facilitate investments uh, in these four countries in the member nations of quad and finally number 5 quad support for a small scale open radio access network right open radio access network will be established and it will deploy in palau and it will be the very first in the pacific region okay so these are the five initiatives which were announced during the summit so which of the following is not which of the following is not ye not yaad rakhna i'll make the changes in the pdf don't worry quad military support group theek hai yahi nahi hai this one has not been announced so option a will be the correct answer question number 3 pe chalte hain isi baat pe which of the following statements about strengthening teaching learning and results for states that is tars project is are uh, are incorrect right so you need to identify the incorrect statement about the tars project and i hope guys if you have attended the government scheme session jo ki abhi revision wale chal rahe hain usme i have discussed this scheme in very much detail but today also let's discuss it theek hai The scheme was launched in the year 2020, but why this is in news? Because Ministry of Education and World Bank both have organized a workshop on school to work transition under Stars Project in Mumbai. Why this? Uh, why this workshop was organized to discuss skill gap analysis. If there is any skill gap, uh, so to analyze that skill gap and to fill that gap, this uh, workshop was organized by the six Stars. states and uttar pradesh theek hai which means this scheme this project is being implemented in six states and uttar pradesh is not among them so let's talk about this project it was launched in the year 2020 and as the name says as the full form says strengthening teaching learning and uh, results for states so it is for improving the strengthening of uh, teaching skills the strengthening of uh, you know the students ki jo basic skills hoti hai usko improve karne ke liye aur jo स्टेट्स है उनके स्कूल के रिजल्ट्स को इंप्रूव करने के लिए दिस स्कीम वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 2020 इट इज अ वर्ल्ड बैंक फंडेड सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम विद अ टोटल आउटले ऑफ 5718 करोड़ आउट ऑफ व्हिच एप्रोक्सीमेटली 3700 करोड़ व्हिच इज 500 मिलियन डॉलर शैल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द वर्ल्ड बैंक राइट ड्यूरेशन इज 5 इयर्स दैट इज अप टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2025 एंड नोडल मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कोर्स इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन द सिक्स स्टेट्स वेयर दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड आर हिमाचल प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र उड़ीसा राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश एंड केरला एंड देर आर टू मेजर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम वन एट नेशनल लेवल एंड वन एट स्टेट लेवल द नेशनल लेवल कंपोनेंट एंड वाइसेजेस टू स्ट्रेंथन द मिनिस्ट्रीज नेशनल डेटा सिस्टम्स टू कैप्चर ऑथेंटिक डेटा ऑन रिटेंशन ट्रांजेक्शन एंड कंप्लीशन रेट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कि स्टूडेंट कितना रिटेन कर रहे हैं कितना ट्रांजेक्ट कर रहे हैं और कितना कंप्लीट कर रहे हैं अपने एजुकेशन को नंबर टू to support the strengthening of learning assessment system and number 3 to establish to support ministry of education's effort to establish a national assessment center that is parak theek hai ye announce hua tha new education policy 2020 mein i hope you all know this and at the state level uh, the state level component envisages to strengthen early childhood education and foundational learning improve learning assessment system same ye lagbhag strengthening classroom instruction and remediation and governance and decentralized management for improved service delivery in the area of education right now again you don't have to learn these components word by word word to word just have a basic understanding ki okay all of these things are being done under this project theek okay? hai so that is all about this and now let's identify the incorrect statements It is a World Bank funded central sector scheme launched in 2020. Yes, it is a World Bank funded. Yes, it was launched in 2020, but not as a central sector scheme, but as a centrally sponsored scheme. So this is incorrect. It is implemented by Ministry of Education. सही बात है. It is implemented only in four states. No, it is being implemented in six states. ये भी गलत हो गया. 
इट इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड फॉर पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव सही बात है इस टोटल कॉस्ट इज फाइव सेवन वन एट करोर आउट ऑफ विच वर्ल्ड बैंक फंडिंग इज दिस ठीक है तो इन करेक्ट की बात करें तो वन एंड थ्री शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर अब चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पे मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सिविल एविएशन इन कोलैबोरेशन विद विच इंडस्ट्री एसोसिएशन हैज ऑर्गेनाइज अ कर्टन रेजर अहेड ऑफ विंग्स इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन न्यू डेली बट रिमेंबर विंग्स इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विल टेक प्लेस इन हैदराबाद दिस कर्टन रेजर इवेंट टू प्लेस इन न्यू डेली बट दिस विंग्स इंडिया द मेजर इवेंट विल टेक प्लेस इन हैदराबाद इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है जी so this curtain raiser event was organized in collaboration with fikki federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry whose president is mr subodeep panda right shubhrakant panda i think shubhrakant something thoda naam mein main confuse ho raha hu subodeep panda ya shubhrakant panda aisi kuch inka naam hai so i'll uh, comment his name in the comment section uh i'm forgetting the name subradeep or subadeep something like this only ओके सो मिनिस्टर ऑफ सिविल एविएशन एडेड बाय ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया इन कोलैबोरेशन विद फिक्की हैज ऑर्गेनाइज दिस कर्टन रेजर इवेंट ऑफ विंग्स इंडिया 2024 एंड दिस विंग्स इंडिया 2024 ट्वेंटी फोर इज शेड्यूल्ड टू टेक प्लेस इन हैदराबाद इन तेलंगाना एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी एशिया लार्जेस्ट इवेंट ऑन सिविल एविएशन ऑन कमर्शियल जनरल एंड बिजनेस एविएशन राइट एंड इट विल ब्रिंग टूगेदर all the stakeholders in the civil aviation to promote collaboration showcase innovation and explore the aviation industry as a whole and to give suggestions to each other to one another regarding how we can enhance how we can improve the civil aviation industry right so what is the correct answer fikki is the correct answer option b question number 5 An MOU has been recently signed for riverine based tourism circuit under the Sagar Mala program. Where will this project be implemented? Which state will this project be implemented? So this MOU, remember guys, has been signed for a riverine based religious tourism circuit among various organizations. And which are these organizations? These are these: Inland Waterways Authority of India, Sagar Mala Development Corporation Limited, Assam Tourism Development Corporation. Department of Inland Waterways Transport and the Government of Assam. So it is clear that this project shall be developed in Assam, right? Talking more about it, it will facilitate modern ferry service. What will happen under this project? A modern ferry service will be facilitated on a hope-on, hope-off basis in the seven historic religious sites in Assam. ठीक है और वो कौन-कौन से? Kamakya Devi Temple, Pandunath, Ashwalknath. Dol Govinda, Umanand, Chakreshwar, and Onyati Satra. You don't have to remember the name of these seven sites. These are not important for RBI Grade B examination. Okay. Now the project will be executed via a special purpose vehicle, and the total cost will be forty-five crores. And the project will be completed within twelve months. Twelve months will be completed. Out of this forty-five crore, fifty-five percent of the project cost shall be given by Sagar Mala Development Corporation Limited. and inland waterways authority of india and the rest 45% will be borne by assam tourism development corporation atdc okay so that is all about this project and this project will take will be developed in assam option e is the correct answer and now let's talk about the questions in short aaj questions in short zyada hai but all the questions are very important never you know inko aap halke mein mat lena Do not take these questions in short for granted, because in these questions, in these many questions, you can fail. Okay? If you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. All right. Question number six: Which organization has set up Pashmina Certification Center to streamline Pashmina trade and to provide a one-stop testing facility to certify genuine Pashmina product free from any prohibited fibers? Right. so which organization is this this organization is wildlife institute of india which is located in dehradun option b is the correct answer question number 7 which express way has created a highest record for bituminous concrete laying of 100 lane kilometers in 100 hours 100 ghante mein 100 lane kilometer ka bituminous concrete laying hua hai is highway pe 
एंड दिस हाईवे इज गाजियाबाद टू अलीगढ़ हाईवे एक्सप्रेस वे ठीक है एंड बोथ दीज सिटीज आर लोकेटेड इन उत्तर प्रदेश ऑप्शन ही इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ऑन विच रूट इंडिया फर्स्ट कमर्शियल पैसेंजर फ्लाइट यूजिंग इंडिजीनियसली प्रोड्यूस सस्टेनेबल एविएशन फ्यूल ब्लैंड वो सक्सेसफुली फ्लोन कौन से रूट पे पहला ऐसा पैसेंजर एयरक्राफ्ट उड़ा है कमर्शियल पैसेंजर फ्लाइट उड़ी है विथ इंडिजीनियसली प्रोड्यूस सस्टेनेबल एविएशन फ्यूल सो द रूट इज पुणे टू डेली ऑप्शन ई अगेन इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इंडिया हैज इंक्रीज इट्स रिफाइनिंग कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम 215 मिलियन मेट्रिक टन पर एन एम इन ट्वेंटी थर्टीन फोर्टीन टू टू फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन मेट्रिक टन पर एन एम मेकिंग इट दैश लार्जेस्ट इन दर्जेस्ट इन दर्ल्ड इन दिस टर्म्स सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट India is dash largest chemical producers in the world and the dash in Asia as per the recent PIB release. ये मैं अपने मन से नहीं बना रहा. This is as per the recent PIB release. India is the dash largest chemical producer. India is the sixth largest chemical producer in the world and fourth largest in Asia. And that's why the correct answer is option B. Question eleven. Which country hosted Future Energy Asia 2023? Asia's leading energy transition and transformation exhibition and summit. This time it is not India. Hamesha India ne yoga. The correct answer is Thailand. Option A is the correct answer. Question number twelve. Which ministry releases All India Consumer Price Index number for agricultural labourers and rural labourers? So when it comes to agriculture labourers and rural labourers, the ministry which releases All India Consumer Price Index. is labor and employment ministry of labor and employment and under ministry of labor and employment there is an organization labor bureau labor bureau which releases this particular index and that's why the correct answer is option e question number 13 the research innovation initiative gathering which we have discussed in the last class is an initiative is a new initiative of the g20 forum Which was initiated during the G20 presidency of which country? कौन सी country का G20 प्रेसिडेंस में रिक कॉन्फ्रेंस को इनिशिएट किया गया था सो इट वॉज इनिशिएटेड ड्यूरिंग जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी ऑफ इंडोनेशिया डू रिमेंबर इट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन वैल्यू ऑफ डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री हैज क्रॉस द फिगर ऑफ डैश For the very first time in the history of the country, as per the recent PIB release, so it has touched one lakh crore for the very first time. Option D is the correct answer. And the last question for today: Where has Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers, headed by Mansukh Mandavia, in association with Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, organized the eighth edition of International Conference on India Pharma? and india medical device 2023 such events generally take place in new delhi and this also took place in new delhi and that's why the correct answer is option a all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next session on friday and friday go will be having a session on government schemes as well so be ready for the class be ready for the session Thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless